Photoshop Elements 14 has some great new features. I'm Linda Sadgas from DigitalScrapper.com here to tell you about the new features and what I like the best. My number one favorite feature is pretty much a toss up between haze removal and shake reduction, but I'll probably use haze removal the most, so let's start with that. Open a photo that's a bit hazy. In the menu bar, choose Enhance, Haze Removal. Adjust the haze reduction slider to clear away some of the haze without getting the photo too dark. And I'm going to move this a little bit to the left, right about there. And here if I click the before, you can see what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like now. See how that brought out that nice color of the sky there. When you're satisfied with the effect, click OK to apply it. This also works on washed out photos like this cute little girl. I'll choose Enhance, Haze Removal. I'll adjust the slider, bring this down just a little bit, right about there, and then click OK. Now let's look at the Shake Reduction Filter. Here I have a photo of a little girl picking flowers. But if I zoom in, you can see that her face has a very soft focus. So this photo would be a good candidate for the Shake Reduction Filter. In the menu bar, choose Enhance, Shake Reduction. When the dialog box comes up, it will automatically draw a marquee to analyze an area. But you can click and drag out another marquee, and I'm going to do one right over her face so that it will analyze that area. You'll see a progress bar right here, and when that's done, then you can click to click OK, and we'll see how we did. Let's go ahead and click OK, and it's going to apply the shake reduction. Now let's zoom in just a little bit here so we can see better, and we'll go to our history panel, and I'm going to click on the way it was before, see how much more blurry that is here, and then here it is after shake reduction. So that really does a nice job on photos that are a little bit blurry. Next on my list of new features are the two new guided edits. So here I am in guided mode, and notice that it has a new user-friendly, eye-pleasing interface. It's much more visual and inspiring than it's been in the past. You can just mouse over an image to see what it looks like before and after. My favorite new guided edit is speed effect. The next new feature is an improvement to the Refine Edge Selection Brush. You now have the ability to select fuzzier areas like hair or fur much more easily, and that means you can composite those images in fun ways. Be sure to watch my video on how to use the Refine Edge Selection Brush. The last enhanced feature I want to mention is the Effects panel in Quick Edit. Up until now, Quick Edit and the Effects panel had 50 effects that were always the same no matter which kind of photo you use. But now there's a new category up here at the top called Smart Looks. So if you click on that, Smart Looks analyzes each photo and determines what the photo is about. Is it a portrait photo, a family shot, a ski shot, sunset photo, etc. And based on that information, they choose the five best effects for that particular photo from a database of 2,500 effects. Each photo gets a different set of effects based on the composition of the photo. And that sounds pretty awesome, doesn't it? Most of the time it does a pretty good job of coming up with some great effects. Let's try out some of these and let's look at the before and after version so we can kind of see what it looks like. Let's try out this one. And here's another look. And I actually like that first one that they chose really well. That one is a very nice one. So if you're feeling adventuresome, go ahead and play around with this new category of effects called Smart Looks. Of course, there are other enhancements to both the organizer and the editor, but these are my top favorite features of Photoshop Elements 14. It's a great program and definitely worth the upgrade, in my opinion. This is Linda Satgas with DigitalScrapper.com. Thanks for watching.